So next, we're gonna come in here and build out these doors, all right? So, so I can do this with one hand. So first I'm gonna build a frame like that and there'll be some gap in there, at least an eighth, maybe three sixteenths gap. And then I gotta sheet that out, all right? So you get a sheet of plywood on that. And then come in with the trim, all right? Like that, sort of like that, and then have a pretty big gap here too. So that's a lot, right? That's all in the door, um, but it matches the exact same layers that are in the, the frame here. So what you'll see is just this outside look, and it'll look just like this. All right, so let's get started on that. Okay, so this is the frame, so I want to pocket hole this, so I'm just going to put just one in here, and then the, the plywood will hold it all together anyway, but this will just be to tack it up. All right, guys, so I got the doors coming together. I'll hinge something like that. Looks like I got enough clearance, but we'll find out when I actually put the hinges on it. It might come up a little higher. Could be a problem. We'll drive on and see. Same thing over here. Got a gap up there. So next, I'm gonna put the trim on. All right, leave a pretty big gap, because why not? I don't want any problems. And this will come over here like this. So this overlapping is what stops the door, right? Same thing on the top. So this will come over like that. Something like that. I could attach, I could make this whole frame and then attach it or attach it as I go, either way. So anyway, let's get on that. That's just mocked up. It's just sitting there balancing. I got five middle trim pieces in there, which seems like maybe too much. I don't know. Maybe I could take two out or leave them in. What do you think? Well, it looks good.
Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and put the hinges on. Uh, I'm a little worried about this because I'm afraid I'm going to end up with this door binding on this top bar here. Because it's already basically touching it slightly as you close it. So, that's one thing. Um, I did shim it just a little bit up, which makes that worse. But just a tiny bit. I think I need a little gap there. I'm not an expert on this, so I'm figuring it out as I go. Squaring it up, and then I marked the holes. So the other thing I was looking at is the line of the hinge versus the gap line. Like, should that be right in the center, or a little, you know, I think it should be a little lower. So I took it down just a little bit. It's not in the center of the gap. See that? A little bit lower. I don't know, maybe it should be all the way down. I don't really know. So we're going to find out. Uh, so I'm just going to center punch and put a couple of these screws in. Just to get it started. There we go, look how that fits perfect. Right about there. Mm-hmm. Alright, All right, not too tight. Alright, so I've got four screws in it. Let's see if it even opens. Alright guys, I got the doors on, just about done, all I have to do is paint them, hinges, handles, hardware, uh, they work pretty good, bam, close tight, nicely, alright, so next, I'm going to work on putting the high density flooring and the dividers and the back in there. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.